doing uh, firewood and kind of stuff. Look at this. No camping. Boom. Fire pit. Zebras and hippopotamuses, pink elephants. Smoke up. Yeah. Everybody join. Come on. Yeah, let's gotta go smoke, that. bro. Yeah. Where you at? You are the. That's right. Look at that. There's our camping spot for tonight. We got us a good old fire ring. What are we going to cook tonight, babe? Korean style. Pork deep. We're not too far from the Uari River, so if you walk through there. So if you haven't figured out, we're in Uari National Forest. There's a little bit of wood in there left for us, isn't there? Anyhow, yeah, yes, the driveway is a little bit sloped here. I know you can't tell, but it's not, um, I mean, it's in good it's condition. Steep. But it's steep. It is steep. But I don't think we'll have any problems getting out of here. There's like rocks down there, so it's got plenty of traction. But we're going to go check out... We're near the uh, the cotton place, uh, the off-road vehicle place, and we're just kind of wandering around now. And here's the forest road. So, uh, welcome back to our adventures. You can see G Money's uh, Ray Charles glasses still wearing them. Nice. He's got to wear this for about a month, right? Off highway vehicle use. Off so, highway vehicle. Yeah, like. UTVs, four wheelers, motorcycles. Oh, really? Four really? Yeah, this is a popular place. No fireworks. $5 a day permit, $30 annual permit. Tags must be attached to handlebar. That's dirt bike. No? Yeah, it says not advised. That doesn't mean you can't. It just says it's not advised. Somebody's been out here. I see a, um, a tire track. Yeah, it can get pretty rowdy out here in some of these trails. We need a UTV. That's a cool climb. Wonder what's up there. Daniel. Daniel Trail, maybe? Mmm. Interesting. Freaking hot now. All right, we'll pick you back up when we get back to the van. Doing uh, firewood reconnaissance. It looks like also known as raking the trail. I don't know, but that thing looks thorny. Uh, looks Does like it? A, no, kind of a uh, cactus, right? Touch it and see what happens. Really, bro? <laughs> it looks thorny, right? Kind of thorny. Yeah, it's thorny. I mean, it's soft thorns, but look at this. No camping. Boom, fire pit. River trail. Let's see how far it is before we walk. Maybe this comes out at our campsite. Either way, I wouldn't want to walk through that uh, that field. There's an opening right here, babe. All right. It looks like the views don't. I don't think it's the view. Yeah. You gonna go back out? Yeah, oh dang. Oh, we can go straight up. I left my thing. Oh, we gotta get the bag. We can go back, babe. <laughs> you money the fire whisperer are doing her thing. We got a little bit of wood, but we got a little bit of uh, good wood there in the box. So hopefully we can get some coal started and get them ribs going because I'm getting hungry. I'll run all the mosquitoes away, hopefully. Mosquitoes. Two hatchets it's, and a saw, some kind of hand saw is what you need out here. Use one as a, as a wedge and use the other one as a hammer. What you drinking? I got the uh, leaves, apple, a uh, hard apple leaves. Yeah. Got our lantern hanging up there in the tree. That's a new lantern, by the way. I don't recommend that other piece of crap we had. The USB thing. USB port broke on it. 
we probably haven't even had it a year. Probably made by the same company, to be honest with you. Probably break again. Do it, but what you doing, babe? So the great thing about this little hatchet here, it has a knife in the end of it. Ah, you never knew that. You never knew that? Well, you never used it. I just use that, I tend to use that K-bar knife a lot, but since it's in the van and I'm here and I'm lazy. You Zucchini. Some zucchini and some squash. Squad. Show them what we got in the fire over there. And then we're going to look at that. Some corn Here on the cob. Corn. Corn or corn? Squash. Zucchini. Got that broccoli. Some corn on the cob. Wow, he's happy. Tell you what, I know they're full of sugar, but those suckers right there are really good. Zucchini, squash, and broccoli with some Tony Saturies on it. All right, we're going to settle this once and for all. Tony Saturies or Old Bay, babe? Tony Saturies. Tony Saturies all the way. Comment down below, Old Bay or Tony Saturies? Tony Saturies. Tony Saturies is what we think. Yeah, that side got a little hot, but that's okay. I can't eat corn on the cob like that. I have to cut mine off because I have uh, my teeth been knocked out. So, right, babe? Yeah. But mine looks really good. Look at that. All right, we're ready to see those ribs yet. Look at that juice running out of it. Juicy, juicy. Wow. Mmm. Campfire ribs, veggies, corn on the cob. Yummy. Uh, vegetables. Vegetable. <laughs> wow, bro. Vegetable. <laughs> Look at your mouth. Messy. Black. All right. Good morning, party people. We woke up in a different place than we fell asleep last night. And the reason why is we got a rain and thunderstorm that came through around 3 o'clock. And it lasted for about an hour of uh, medium rain. And then... Two more times during the night between four and probably seven o'clock it rained again you can tell by the uh the clay out here is pretty soft so we were down at the bottom of a campsite and i wasn't worried about the drive uh the the um the incline drive getting out because it had a rock bed but where we were parked down near uh the urari river down there it was uh it was already soft from the previous rain we had in the week and I was a little bit worried that we might get stuck down at the bottom of the campsite with all this rain. So we got up and hightailed it around 4 a.m. over to the parking lot to ride this thing out. And uh, it looks like it did stop raining and it's going to be a beautiful day. I think they're calling for maybe 20% chance of rain here in the morning. But uh, other than that, we're going to have some breakfast and then we're going to head over to Mora Mountain. We did leave our chairs down at the campsite. <clears throat> because last night when I went to pick them up, it was just it was just raining too hard and uh, they were just soaking wet and full of rain. So we got standing water and it's just mud. And we were kind of backed up over there. It's probably not as bad as I thought it was last night, but we didn't know. <clears throat> There's no internet down here, so we didn't know when it was going to stop. So it didn't have a good radar. Thank you. The old lady just said she saw an osprey over there. So, but uh, yeah, we made it to the bottom of the park. So we're down on Lake Tillery now. So we're in Moro Mountain State Park, and we came down toward the lake. And we're gonna have some breakfast, even though it's lunchtime. But we just got a late start. That's nice. We should come out here and rent a canoe one day. You know what I mean? Jelly bean? Yeah. You cold, bro? Yeah. What's for breakfast? Korean spicy ramen. Shin. Ramen. Shin shin. Shin shin. Hururu. 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 That's the noise you make when you slurp. 
I show you Hururu. Hururu. That's Hururu. That's Hururu. It's not possible. That's not... That's not... Uh, us Americans think that's... Uh, smacking. But that's just the way you eat noodles. Because it's yeah. hot. Hot. And you it's it. not the American way. Slurp it. Yeah, American, we can even eat. <laughs> hot. Gotta do the hoodoo doo. And then, and then cold, it tastes not good. So, Korean way. Korean way. And then, wow, it's like a Hoover vacuum, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, folks, we moved our party inside because it started to rain. So, G Money's back there cooking uh, some coffee. We already had our ramen out there on the picnic table, but it just started raining at the end, and it's cold rain. So we'll have some coffee, and then we're gonna have to go check out the uh, old homestead up the road there. See if there's anything going on. But what's happening? Man, you can tell people feed you. You ain't scared of nobody. What you gonna do? You want some of this? Huh? Alright, we're at the old home site here. Let's see what this is about. I kind of see it sitting over there in the corner. First yeah. formally trained doctor in the southern Piedmont of North Carolina. Oh. 84 that's still that's that's a ripe old age for that time I know that time he doctor wow. he, he, he fixing his he self fixed himself yeah. right, what happened I thought so sausage oh he had a greenhouse hmm? he had a greenhouse oh that picture is not true not even close is it him corn potato beans right babe yeah Famous oh. horticultural pursuit. How come that time they have a dead picture? For his medical practice. I guess they all used it. Yeah, grapevines. Country bowl. This is a whale. We had one of these. Oh, maybe not. Oh, yeah, it is. Very open. Oh, wow. What is that? There's a dead body in here. Yeah! Don't worry, there is a Bojangles cup. <laughs> Jesus, people throw trash everywhere. Like a, uh, See, that's where the rope goes with the bucket. Toilet. Medical practice of the 19th century. He set broken oh. bones, birthed babies, pulled teeth, performed amputations, what? treated livestock. He produced his own medicine known Bleeding, as cupping, blistering, and administration Dr. of calomel. Dr. Kron's pills that he used to treat a variety of a, a man. A form of mercury, which is highly toxic in metal. He may have given it in small doses as laxative or in large doses to purge the body. Jesus. Hmm? That's funny. I mean, we probably killed more people back then with medicine than we... I know. He just, what up? He testing yeah. some shit. Oh, look. We got a wash pot. It's a nice area, though. Imagine living up here. It's probably nice. I've had all kinds of animals come through the backyard. Yeah. Hello, here. Like Hello. zebras and hippopotamuses. How about the uh, crocodiles? And how about the uh, pink elephants? Yeah, or dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. Is that how they slid? That's how they slid the house in, isn't it? They slid it on these and then picked it up. That's what it looks like. Mm -hmm. And they just left them here or was that the steps that's got curtains in it oh babe there's somebody staring at you up there in that one look at the lizard crawling up the roof <laughs> see his head that might have been the kitchen a lot of times they had the kitchen was a separate house i don't know or that could have been his office 
He had two daughters. Were well educated for the time the girls were encouraged by their parents to encourage various educational pursuits. They were largely self taught. St. Mary's School in Raleigh. Oh man. Embroidery, handmade lace, made baskets, silk. They grew silkworms on mulberry trees. They spun, wove, and dyed silk to produce blouses, dresses. Wow. Jeez. What can we do these days? A variety of educational. What can we do these days? Sure. Nothing. Ride a mountain bike. That's all we know how to do. The girl grew Work on a car. That's about it. Silkworm on Jesus. mulberry tree. Get some geometry. Look at that. Saint Mary School Bay. All right, we just pulled up to the top of Moro Mountain. This is the scenic vista, and it is uh, it's a bit rowdy today. We got rained on last night. We got rained on this morning. But you can see the, you can tell it's raining over there for sure. Burkhead, at least the Thornburg Trail. It's quit raining, so. Thornburg. Yeah. Let's see what's up here. I don't know if I can think. I got a piece of bed. You are there, right there. So foggy you can't even see it. Editions in last quarter of 19th century and first quarter of 20th century. It's got a it's got a 1970s green appeal to it, doesn't it? Enjoy, but do not destroy your American heritage. Oh, I guess we can go in. Or no. Probably not. Oh yeah, you can go in. Hey, come on. What do you want to get in? I just want to look at the rooms and see how they are. Enjoy the fucking Huh? Enjoy, but don't destroy. Hey, I want something surprising. Just like a bunch of waffles. Wow. I love these old houses like this. What? Yeah, because they got that they got that old wood smell to it. Like almost musty wood smell, you know? Yeah, this this floor is about drop. They got modern uh, modern electricity. What is this? I don't know what that is. Oh, that's cool. Oh, look out here, babe. There's a whale? Yeah. Look, I see the other thing. And they are here. Way. Babe, 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 babe. Babe, it's nice. We need it like this, the back porch. <laughs> right? Yeah. Wow. 1855? Built like this? No, it had been redone. It had been redone in the early 1900s, is what it said. Smokehouse, 1920. Babe, this is your house right here. CMU Preservation. Web Creek? No. 
<laughs> that's a good that's a good uh, yeah smoke out yeah everybody join come on yeah Sing let's go smoke bro yeah it's pipe <laughs> retrace your steps i don't know what's hiding in the grass equipment shed There's some of your favorite plants. And they got some good saw horses. Old tin for the tin roofs. Got a lot of buildings out here though. Baby be careful of slip slippery. Smoke and that's a corn. corn. What does that say? Carriage house? There's a carriage house. That's where you keep the carriage at. Carry? Carriage. Carriage? Yeah, you know what a carriage is? I don't know. Carriage is a wagon, basically. Wagon? Yeah, where your horses uh, pull the wagon. Uh. Horsey, horsey. <laughs> <laughs> Just walk in my footsteps. You'll be fine. Oh, babe, this is where I belong. Huh? This is where I belong. Where do you belong? Chicken house. Yeah, 1930. Yep. Yeah. It looks like it's for chicken. Look at the little staircase. A little chicken staircase. And then you go lay in the station there. Get some eggies. Eggies. Get them eggies. Yeah, this is pretty pretty modern here. So they say 1950s. Had a few horses, or at least some assumption wagon. Hey, how you doing? Up, Tack shed. Yeah, there's two people in there. Huh? There's two people in there. Shed. What kind of shed? What? I said the dambe. Dambe. Dambe? Yeah. What's that? I said smokehouse. <laughs> dambe. Yeah. Sure. From oh, there's the outhouse day. You gotta go? Oh, she gotta go to the I outhouse. I gotta go. I gotta go. Back in the day, they used to have kitchens actually separate from the house. Why? Because if they burned down, it wouldn't burn down the house. Burn down, burn down house? If, yeah, see, if you have it as a separate building, the kitchen could burn down, but the house wouldn't burn down. Oh. Uh, because, you know, you always have a fire in there to cook. Oh, uh, wow. So whatever you eat come down the kitchen or food come into the house? Yeah, you would uh, bring the food in the house from the kitchen. Mm -hmm. 